Hello, everyone. Uh, I have a new guest today. I'm excited to bring her on. Um, she's a business owner, founder, and CEO of Ease, Eve's Original Sin Cookies. She's a sophomore management major at Cedarville University and recently had an article posted about her on K-Love. She embodies what it means to fight through adversity and make something beautiful out of a dark place. Let me introduce you to Eve Wellner. Now, is that the right way to say it? Wellner. Wellner. Yes. Okay. It's a little odd. <laughs> Interesting. That's cool. Yeah. So I want to kind of start with like a little backstory. Mm -hmm. You're at Cedarville University. I always like to just provide people with um, stories of how they came to Cedarville. So what was the backstory, lead, backstory leading up to coming to Cedarville and deciding to make this your college? Yeah, yeah. So I actually graduated a year early from high school. So I, my the fall of my junior year, I realized I really only needed like one class my senior year and the rest would be study hall. So I was like, why not just knock that class out my junior year? Um, so I decided I was going to graduate early and I needed to check out colleges. I already really love the sound of Cedarville. Um, my parents, I, I, not my parents, my grandparents talked about it all the time growing up. They never went here, just loved it. Um, so I decided to check it out and I just fell in love with the place. It was just a really beautiful environment. Everyone was so friendly. Um, and I didn't visit anywhere else. Oh, really? I just knew that I wanted to come here financially little difficult. It's an expensive school, but um, my grandparents actually came through and paying for me, wow. which was really a, awesome. quite a blessing. Um, so I decided this is where I'm meant to be. Yeah, I feel like that's a testament to if Cedarville really shows that it can bring the value and then obviously yes. they attracted your grandparents. They're like, they're willing to mm -hmm. help the next generations come to it. Exactly. So yeah, you, you only visited here. You decided to come to Cedarville. Um, so now you're major. When did you decide and figure out you wanted to do management? So I actually came in as a finance major, okay. um, which I was just, Dr. Heyman, the dean here, um, told me that either an accounting or a finance major would be ideal for what I wanted to do. Um, I didn't want to go the accounting route, so I went finance. Turns out, not great at finance. <laughs> I didn't even, I barely even took any classes. I was like, this is not for me. And so um, the spring of last year, I almost left business altogether. Okay. I actually almost went to nursing. Um, almost completely gave up on my business too. Wow. Um, but through talking to the important people in my life, I realized that I was meant to be in business. Um, and I switched to management, so, okay. yeah. So, yeah, management major, um, what was the, the thing that made you move to management? So you were thinking yeah. about nursing, management, <laughs> yeah. coming away from finance. What was yeah. the deciding factors so for that? management is just, it kind of touches on every aspect of business. And that was something really important in being a business owner someday. Like, I feel like I need to have a good ground of, like, knowing a little bit of everything. everything yeah. So that was that was probably the biggest factor in yeah. deciding to do it. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was um, what phase in your freshman year was that? Was that, that like fall into spring? That yeah. So fall semester I was finance, and then spring semester is when I like end of spring semester. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So, so then you come into the fall here, uh, sophomore year. Yes. Um, is that? So I guess we'll just go into Eve's original sin cookies. <laughs> so you're here. When um, did that business start here? And if you want to, you can go into your backstory. I know yeah. from your article, mm -hmm. um, it talked about like 10 years old, baking yes. cookies, <laughs> loving to do that. Just yeah. want to talk about the backstory of that a little yeah. bit. Yeah. So I've been baking since I was like three years old. Okay. I mean, my grandma and I and my cousins and siblings, we all baked around Christmas time. And my grandma and I baked all the time other than that. Um and I just grew up loving it and learning so much about it. And then high school hit. And mm. I always had a lot of issues with my body. And just I was I've always been a people pleaser. And I just I wanted to make people like me. And so my outlet for that, for controlling that, was changing my body, mm -hmm. um, which really led to the diets led to an eating disorder. Um, which was a really hard time my sophomore year of um, school, and I was very unwell mentally and physically. Um, 
And I was still baking, but I was not baking for myself. I was baking for like the people that I loved in my life because it gave me joy to see them eating what I could make. But I, it was like I was living through them almost. Um, then I, through people in my life coming to me and starting to find out about what was going on with me, um, they, we were trying to fix it. Yeah. Nothing was really working. I was just, it was all in my own head. Only I could fix that. There's only so much other people could do. Mm -hmm. And once I realized this was not something I needed to fix, I started coming up with my own cookie recipe because that's yeah. I knew that's what I like to do. And so I started just kind of making flavors that I liked the sound of, um, which was really fun for me. Um, and I started eating them more, and it kind of got me back on track with that. I still honestly struggle with eating disorder still, but I've got a much better handle on it. Um, so it, my business really did bring me out of a really hard time. Um, so that was all of high school. I was kind of working on my business. Um, and I, I started my business fully my junior year. Of high school. Okay, junior year of high yes. school is when you started the business. Yes, wow. and that's when it wasn't an official business. It wasn't LLC. Mm -hmm. It was just me kind of testing it out, seeing if it was something people wanted. I talked to my classmates, my teachers, my just neighbors, you know, just people around me. Um, and I found out that it was really something people valued. Um, and so I came to high, not high school, college, and I kind of I kind of got distracted by college life, to be honest with you. Like, college is a lot, and there are a lot of distractions. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot. There's a lot. It's classes and friends exactly. and everything. It's hard. So I didn't really work on my business a whole lot last year. I was doing other, th other things, but – and that's also kind of led to me wanting to give up on my business. Mm -hmm. um, but my family really pulled together and talked to me and helped me through that. Um, and also Dr. Oberbrunner came. He was – he wasn't even accepted as, I think he was about to become the Barry Chair of Entrepreneurship or whatever, okay. but he wasn't yet. Oh, it was in the summer, right? You guys so, talked over the summer or it was in the well, spring? Well, so it was the spring. It was, I think, two weeks before school let out. Like, it was really oh, close to the yeah. end. And he, like, I almost didn't even go to the little speech he made. Yeah. But it was in the morning and he just made a speech about, like, what entrepreneurship is, why people do it, mm -hmm. like, why you should be passionate about it. And I just realized, like, that is my why. Like, yeah. I, I want to do this. I just lost sight of it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and so I just, I, I contacted him on LinkedIn, I think. And okay. I was like, I need to meet with you. I need to, like, get a plan started for the summer. And we met and he helped me so much. And then... That summer, like early on in the summer, he helped me start my business as an LLC, which was a really big moment for yeah. me. And then this past school year, I've been working a lot on it. So That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I know <laughs> the first time I met you was at Q. So yes. that was, yeah. um, he was adjunct back in the spring. He came on, was helping you. We had Q yes. meeting. Um, mm -hmm. And then you were like the first example that he had of the people he was helping. Because yes. he meets with a boatload of people all a the time. People. And with a lot of businesses, <laughs> a lot of ideas, you were like the the first step into that for him at Cedarville. So yes. I think that was huge for both of you. It was. <laughs> um, and so I know he really, he liked to talk about starting the LLC a lot, talked about in Q school. Yeah. Um, what was the process with that, starting the LLC with mm -hmm. him? Um, what did you learn from doing that for your business? Yeah, so it was a, I was overwhelmed by it because I'm overwhelmed by the legal aspects of a business. Mm -hmm. I just, it is not, marketing and <laughs> the legal aspects are not my strengths. Okay. Um, and so it just made me really nervous and that's why I needed his help. Mm -hmm. And so we set up like a phone call and he just kind of walked. I think he did it actually on his computer, not even my computer. He yeah. just like did it all for me. <laughs> um, but it was really easy. Mm -hmm. All you had to do was like put in your name, your business title to see if it was already a name for a business. Mm -hmm. And then like kind of a catchphrase, something, something like describing. Tagline. Yeah, yeah, yeah tagline. Yeah. yeah. And it was, it was, that was it really. Like okay. it was really, and then you had to pay for it and it was like $99. Yeah. It was also Dr. Oberbrenner paid for that, which was yeah, really sweet. That's awesome. And in retrospect, for like if you're doing a business venture, yeah, depending on the type of business, obviously yeah. in the situation you're in, it's like a ninety-nine dollar intro investment 
is not crazy. No, it's Because the not. idea is you're trying to make like a livable wage off of a business to an yes. extent. So 99 investment, that's, that's no. great. And it provides like legal protection. And benefits. Yeah, yeah. Protection like and benefits. I mean, I'm so happy he convinced me to do it because yeah. it's been so helpful. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't think I'll poison anyone with cookies, but yeah. if something were to happen, that is such a crucial aspect to have. So Yeah, it's not the weight of like, oh boy, like yeah. what's going to happen in yeah. this moment. So there's a legal protection there, which is exactly. awesome. Exactly. Also, tax benefits. I mean, it's really awesome when I... I haven't gone through a tax season yet, mm-hmm. which is, I'm a little nervous, but yeah. it's okay. Um, but I'm approaching it, and you can, uh, I forget what it's called. I'm blanking. But pretty much whatever you buy. It's on the company. It's a company exactly. expense it's, instead of a, a mm-hmm. post-tax. It's yeah. pre-tax. Yeah. So you can get money back on that, actually. Yeah. So really nice for yeah. a person just starting out. Yeah, especially yeah, whenever you're making these investments, that little extra cash like is... Exactly. Need it. Yeah. So, especially like I had for to the buy, lean startup. Yeah. yeah. I had to buy an expensive oven and mm. I think it was like two thousand dollars and I was really nervous about that, but then I was like, Oh, it's okay, I'll get a little money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit a little percentage back. Yes. That's awesome. So what um going through this process, um, beyond just like your purpose and the reasoning behind the business is yeah. amazing. I think that's one thing that a lot of people connect to. It's like mm-hmm. anymore, a lot of people are focused on the brand. Like they mm-hmm. want the product to be nice. Mm-hmm. They want it to be a good quality product, but they also want to know what the brand is about and why. Yes. Um, what were some of the, the like the business challenges that you had beyond like college? Yes. Dealing with that. Um, what yeah. were some like business challenges you had when uh, doing Eve's? Yeah, I would just say, I mean, confidence. Mm-hmm. I'm not naturally a very confident person. I really kind of belittle myself and I critique myself a lot. Um, I'm a perfectionist. It's just not, it's it's hard for me to be happy with what I'm doing. Okay. And so even now, like with my business, I'm constantly like, oh, I don't like that. I don't mm. change that quick. <laughs> so I don't, I would say having confidence in what I've built just now. I mean, it's it's hard to look at the big picture and like, not zoom in on all the little details. Mm-hmm. So that, that's been an issue for me. Um, also, like, some, I'm, I can be a little shy. So sometimes, like, you need to network when you have a business. And sometimes that's been challenging because I, I find it really hard to talk to the big guys, you know, the yeah. people that have really successful businesses because it's intimidating. And often I don't feel like I know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. So... It's a little okay. scary. <laughs> yeah. And so what would you say are some of the things like with networking, talking to the big mm-hmm. guys, some avenues that you would want for information? Like what would you say like whenever you're thinking about networking? Yeah. What are the needs that you have? Like, yeah, like finding advice? out information. Yeah, like information. What information yeah. are you looking for when you do that? Marketing for sure because okay. I know nothing about it. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's something I really struggle with. Um, also, um, pricing. I tend pricing. to really like to make my prices small okay. when I should be getting more profit from it. Mm. That's Again, that goes back to not thinking what I'm doing is valuable. So okay. that's something I like to talk about with people. And also, like, I really like to connect with women a lot that mm. own businesses because it's – I'm no feminist at all, but sometimes it does feel like – in business, there's a lot of men doing really well, and it's really cool to see women going through the same thing. Yeah. Um, so I've enjoyed that. There's, like, a women's organization around here. Yeah, women in business. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah, so that's been really helpful. Yeah, I know. We actually, in a creative problem solving, we had a assignment where I was like, how can we um, improve the ratio? Because right now, I mm-hmm. believe it's about 70 to 30. Yes. Male to female in yeah. Cedarville. Um, so, like, my group, I looked at competitors. What schools actually have a good ratio? Yes. One was Duquesne University in Pittsburgh area. Oh, so it's close to me. Um, and one thing they talked about is MBAs specifically mm. when it comes to business. Um, if, a, like, a, a woman has an MBA, their chances of, like, doing well or mm-hmm. uh, moving up in ranks in a corporate company, like, shoot up. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Because then it's, like... Um, people like apply that they're credible. So it's like, okay, I'm going to hire this person. And MBA is huge. And so they did a lot of like um, major, uh, what's the word? Um, 
scholarships yes. for uh, women for MBAs, and that really helped. Yeah. And then I know Made a lot of people said uh, faculty. Mm-hmm. Like, the faculty is, like, the yes. same ratio as well. Yeah, even in Cedarville, I think there's, what, like, three or something? Yes, yeah, pro- not... Professor Doc- Leo? Yeah, there's, there's Professor Rich, there's Professor Leo, and there's... There's one lady that does Excel oh, software yeah. tools. Oh, she's terrible that I'm forgetting her name. I've... Turkelson. Turkelson, yes. We know not Turkelson. Is that, is that a lady, though? I don't know. I'm sure I remember. <laughs> I, don't know. I haven't had any female professors. So I, I, I don't had even her, know, like, yeah. last, like, the, my first semester here. Okay. I I hope if she watches this, she's not offended. But she'll be like, I'm giving you a bad grade. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. no. Oh, my gosh. If, you, if I ever have her again, please yeah. don't, don't give me a bad grade. <laughs> yeah, so I think but. it's uh, interesting seeing how Cedarville can help that. Yeah. Um, and that's one thing I'm enjoying with Q mm-hmm. is there is a, a more even ratio of yes. female to male. Yeah, I've noticed there's a lot of women entrepreneurs yeah. coming out of that, which is so cool to see. It's awesome. And especially mm-hmm. like my team. My team is right now myself. Yes. And then we have Lillian. Um, she's marketing. Um, mm-hmm. Abby, who's management. And then um, I meant Addie. Addie yeah. Melvin, she's management. And then Abby, who's a nurse, actually. Wow. And then we have Harley as well. She's uh, communication yeah. slash biblical stuff. So being able to reach into other majors as well. Definitely. To bring, like, that's why I like the org. Because, yeah. like, IBC is all within the major. Yeah, It's business only. It is. So being able to reach to other majors, I think, opens the door. It's like they want to do business, but maybe their Definitely. major isn't in business. Yeah. And I think a lot of, like, I mean, I think a lot of the best ideas, mm-hmm. honestly, come from other majors. Like, they mm-hmm. have... They know what their field needs. Yeah. And it's it's really cool that a lot of them are figuring this out and understanding that they, with the help of other people, they can bring about a business. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Heyman always talks about how it's like, you need a team. Like yeah. there's one person or a couple that have the idea, mm-hmm. but you need people that have strengths in your weaknesses yeah. that can make the team better. So... I think that's really important, and it, it really, I mean, it's amazing to see other majors joining together. Yeah, I mean, just in the pitch, Lainey, yeah. um, she's a computer science major, yes. so that was her senior project, and I feel like specifically computer science kids, computer engineers, oh, yeah. like, they have these amazing ideas yeah. They could present them to business kids, comm kids, yeah. to help, like, share the idea to exactly. others and businesses, like, Yeah, we were just huge. talking about, in market, you're in my marketing class. Yeah, principles of marketing, and, yeah. um we he we were just talking about like most technological companies are i mean they're the most profitable yeah. companies right now yeah. so it's it's that's a huge marketing not marketing profiting opportunity yeah. for them it's really cool yeah it's uh yeah. it's and some of the like the richest people in the world are also they're not business first like it yeah. was Elon he's engineer and yes a bunch of smart stuff. <laughs> like, exactly. Um, Jeff Bezos, I don't remember what he was, but yeah. it's just like there. there's a gap where if you could connect um, the engineers, computer science, those people with business people, some of these business, exactly. some of the business people don't even want to create an idea. No. They, they just want, want an idea it. and be behind it and help yes. it. And so that was, uh, I think, if we can figure out how to do that that would be huge yeah definitely so. i think cedarville is really doing a good job of it yeah yeah so. they're trying they're investing yeah. money they have a new building yes. entrepreneurship i think the accelerator has been huge it started half the businesses that i know on campus i know there's it's i think in the past like last year there were like two people doing the accelerator huh. and now it's like we have think, two sections yeah. there's priggy and uh, Oberbrunner running it's it crazy. so crazy i unfortunately didn't get to do it this semester i'm doing it next semester but yeah. I'm excited because it's just, I feel like the entrepreneurial spirit on campus is just getting so big. Yeah. So, really yeah, cool. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, if we can keep uh, infiltrating other majors and just really start working with them, then having yes. the majors assembly oh, today yes. with uh, business and calm, that was big. Oh, yeah. So, definitely. Shows that we need the new building because that was the only I place know. that could fit us all. <laughs> I know. I'm so excited for the new building. Yeah. Like, Milner. It did its thing. It was old when my dad was here, he said. Oh my and my dad was here in the 90s. Okay, so, so it's, it's up It's done its thing. It's, yeah. yeah, it's return on investment has been good. Yes, so, very. <laughs> yeah, but I think it'll be huge, um, more trendy looking. Yes. Um, I, heard, I heard it has a recording studio. Oh, my god. So that would be cool. That would be amazing. So maybe get a Plaster School Business podcast. Yes. That'd be fun. Start it so, up. Start it up. Yeah, so um, I guess... Uh, 
kind of what ignited this podcast um, article. So you got um, an article written about you in Cedar News or Cedarville, the school itself, um, talking about your business. And then you found out later that Caleb posted your article. Do you just want to walk me through what happened with all that, like yeah. being interviewed, learning about it, and then how you found out about um, the Caleb article? Yeah, yeah. So I got contacted um, by one of our PR people for Cedarville. Um, I think it was exam week in December. I don't know. It was a while back. Nice. Okay. <laughs> um, but we both got sick, so we couldn't do it <laughs> before Christmas break. But then when we came back, she interviewed me. Um, it was a really cool interview. She's amazing. Um, and then I got so, like some pictures taken of mm-hmm. me by, I think his name is Scott. Scott, Scott Huck. Huck, yes. He's, He's awesome. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that was really cool. I've never had professional pictures for my business taken. Um, and then they just released the article on January 25th to Cedarville and it was really cool. I posted on my Instagram Mm -hmm. and then Cedarville made a post about me with my article, which was really cool cool. because I didn't expect that. And then a week later, um, I got contacted by uh, Dr. Daryl Smith, who's a professor here. And he, he just emailed me and said like I enjoyed the read here's the link like Mm -hmm. keep giving the glory to God and I clicked on it and it was Caleb Mm -hmm. and I was like how did my article get on Caleb that's amazing Mm -hmm. um so I and then I saw that it was released January 25th which is the same day that the Cedarville like Cedarville uh posted it Mm -hmm. so I just I couldn't this was like weeks later i mean yeah. i think this is in f- like february 6th or something like that yeah i remember finding out about it like a week and a half ago yeah and that was kind of when you released that you found out yeah i was so shocked um yep. and then i through some contacts uh i got to talk to the person that put it out there mm-hmm. and apparently some cedarville articles get sent to them and they can just post them wow. so it was exciting it was a nice yeah. little surprise yeah <laughs> Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, um, yeah, I was on Instagram um, looking, and then I think you reposted it. Yes. That's when Carrie found out about it. He reposted it. Yes. Um, so that was cool. Because mm-hmm. I know, like, I think Cedarville is a school. They're just invested in the businesses going on. I know whenever sure. you and Crown Chains sponsored the um, – it was a career services fall yes. basketball tournament. Yes. And so you guys had tables there. Dr. White was there. He yeah. bought stuff from you guys, posted about you guys. Oh, yeah. That so was that a was, big, big moment there. That was there. cool. That that's was tough. a highlight. <laughs> yeah. Getting on the uh, Dr. White Instagram, that's uh, oh yeah. It's not. It's pretty hard because he doesn't even post that much. No. He posts his Fortnite wins. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> his Fortnite wins and the deer that he kills when he goes hunting. That's oh about his gosh. Instagram. Those are, those are his big things. Yeah. That, so. It, yeah. Yeah, it yeah was a starting huge there. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> so starting there, and then yeah, Caleb, um, that's super exciting. Yes, yes. Yeah. So now, so you have Eve's original sin cookies. I want to ask, how did you get that name? So obviously, yeah. your your name is in it, but how did yes. you piece together everything into the brand that it yeah. is? Yeah. So my mom actually came up with the name. Okay. I'm not gonna take credit for that. Okay. She did. And then I didn't accept it. I was, like, kind of thinking through it. Mm. Like, oh, is this really what I want to name my company? And then I was thinking about it, and it really does make sense because my company was founded through me wanting perfection pretty much. Mm. And I feel like society as a whole, especially nowadays, is so focused on perfection. Perfection yeah. in even our faith, which is not biblical. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And, like, it's just anything. Work, looks intelligence, everything. And it's, Eve wanted perfection in the garden. Like she wanted the wisdom of God. That's why she took that fruit. And I just, that's not what God wants from us. It's not perfection. He just wants us to devote ourselves to him. And so that's kind of the connector for me for the name, because my name is obviously Eve, but there's such a bigger point there because I, Perfection is such a struggle, yeah. and we've struggled since the beginning of time with it. So, yep. Wow, that's awesome. I, <laughs> yeah. I appreciate how, like, there's a lot of thought behind the different aspects of your business, from mm-hmm. the way it started, the purpose behind it, um, mm-hmm. into, like, the branding and stuff. That's really cool. Because one, yeah. I found this one quote. It's probably not even a real one, mm-hmm. or is. I just don't know who said it. 
Um, it was like entrepreneurs basically go out, find a problem, and figure out how to make a business to fix that problem. Exactly. Like it's problem solvers who then figure out how to monetize the yes. problem solving. So you help those people um, while also monetizing it, making a business for yourself, helping mm -hmm. yourself. But it's, it's really cool to see. Yeah, that is so. what entrepreneurship is. And it's, I think it's a really courageous profession, to yeah. be honest with you. It's so. risky. It is. And for my, those who love it, it's fun, yeah. but it's risky. My mom's constantly terrified. <laughs> she is a nervous person. I yeah. love her so much. And I know she's just nervous because she loves me. But she she believes in my business, but I know that she would just love it if I could have just picked a Something career. easy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, normal, yeah. But she believes in me, and that's what's important. That's good. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah she cares about you, but knows, like, Exactly. Right, this is what you're doing. And I think, I mean, all mothers are worried about their children. Yeah. My dad's also been a huge, important part of my business. I mean, he's encouraged me so much. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> right. Well, just kind of ask, like, so um, sophomore year at Cedarville, what's your future plans? You have Eves. Um, where do you see that going? Like, yeah. what's your vision for the future from here? Yeah. So next step is to get a website up and going. Okay. I got to figure that out. I'm not a technological person, mm -hmm. so I got to find somebody that can help me. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then from there, like this summer, I'm wanting to sell in other businesses around me. So I'll kind of just distribute my product in there. Yeah. Might go to some farmer's markets. We'll see. Yeah. But nice. I might also have an internship, so nice. it's going to be busy. Yeah, figure it out. Because <laughs> how far yes. away are you from Cedarville? I'm only 35 minutes away. 35, okay. Because yeah. have you heard of Church Street Cookies? Yes, I have. Yeah, I got a Valentine's Day thing for my family there yes. today. Because so. they do the little boxes, right? Yeah, they like, do the semester boxes. So I get one every month. That's amazing. Um, my family does that, and so they're good. Yeah. They got oh, a yeah. new, like, uh, printer thing. Oh. It, like, prints on edible um like designs the technology is just yeah so it's, it's kind of cool so <laughs> that's amazing um, so yeah they're a really cool brand they have a nice little shop in cedarville because i know yes. you said in, in the article it said that you would like to move to a physical maybe yes i after gra upon after graduation, graduation yeah. like probably as soon as i graduate i would like to be working on that for okay. sure within like a couple months nice. um but i don't as for the location i don't know yeah probably not cedarville but I would, I would like to go to Columbus, Cincinnati, maybe. Yeah, find a good location. There's exactly. a good amount of people there. Exactly. Um, and that'd be trendy as well. Yeah. I but think also just location can determine price, too. Exactly. You only go so high there's, at Cedarville. There's so much that goes into it. Yeah. Sometimes it's overwhelming. But yeah. that's why I have people to talk to. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, having a network, people to talk to, it's mm -hmm. big. It's big, so. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Church Street Cookies, um, I, I'm, if I remember correctly, the woman that runs that, graduated from Cedarville too. Okay. I don't know if you knew that, but hmm. kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. So. Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, we have s stuff after this. So yes. thank you so much for being on. Um, I always enjoy talking with people about <laughs> business, Cedarville. Um, do you have anything coming up? Any events you'll be at at Cedarville here? Or? Not yet. I don't think so. No. But I'll let you know if I do. Awesome. Sounds <laughs> thank good. Thank you so much for having me on your podcast. Yeah, thank I you for being it. on. So, <laughs> guys, thank you for watching. Um, please go check Eve out. Um, I'll have everything linked down below, all of her social media. And uh, just uh, please like and subscribe. Let me know of any other guests, businesses, professors here at Cedarville you would like to see. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. Perfect. There we go. So